Yangambi in the Democratic Republic of Congo is home to the first Ediko Variance Tower in the Congo Basin since October 2020. Congo Flux, a scientific structure that measures exchanges of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide between the atmosphere and the forest. Reaching a total height of 55 meters, the equivalent of a 17-story building, this tower reaches above the canopy, an essential precondition for proper data collection. This structure works through a method called edicovariance. We have a lot of equipment on the tower, but the two essential components is an, an animometer, and this measures wind direction in, in three directions. And then we have um, an, a LICOR instrument that measures the CO2 concentration. And those two parameters, so the wind speed in different directions and the CO2 concentrations above the canopy, they cover eye. And with this information, we can calculate how much of the CO2 is entering the forest, so a sequestration, and how much CO2 through respiration is leaving the forest. And so with those two parameters, we can then calculate the net balance of how much carbon is really taken up by these forests. Although there are over 600 towers of this type around the world, this is the first one in the second largest rainforest on the planet. The data produced by Congo Flux is essential to understand the contribution of the Congo Basin Forest to climate change mitigation and thereby will inform decision making on forest conservation. Ce sera un générateur de données cette tour là. Elle va générer énormément de données que la communauté scientifique non seulement locale mais internationale pourra bénéficier de ça. Congo Flux va nous aider à avoir exactement la valeur que notre forêt est en train de séquestrer de carbone. La tour Congo Flux fera partie d'un réseau de tours à flux qui se dénomme ICOS. Ceci implique que toutes les données qui émergeront de la tour passeront périodiquement un contrôle de qualité, après quoi toutes les données seront mises en accessibilité sur un site web. Donc toute personne qui a accès à Internet pourra librement télécharger les données qui émergent de la tour à flux. The tower is the result of a collaboration between Ghent University, INERA, CIFOR, the company RSD, and ARRIVED. This is operated mainly by a team composed out of a 26-year-old Congolese PhD student affiliated to Ghent University and ARRIVED, as well as a technician from Ghent University, who work closely together to keep the infrastructure running smoothly. Je suis, je dirais, chanceux. J'ai été le seul à être choisi parmi 43 candidats. Avec ce projet, j'ai eu le, le doctorat, quelque chose qui me tenait vraiment à cœur. J'ai reçu deux formations. La première partie était à Gand, à l'Université de Gand. Et la deuxième formation, je l'avais eue en Guyane française. Deux fois par semaine, je dois passer à la tour à flux, faire un data quality check, je dois regarder ce qui se passe au niveau de la tour, faire le monitoring, mais aussi je dois former des techniciens ici au niveau local pour me remplacer. The Congo Flux Tower reinforces the role of Yangambi as a scientific hub for studying tropical forests, an initiative that creates direct and indirect opportunities for the local population, part of which is employed in research activities and construction. For the construction of the tower, we had a average of 25 people. We had a team of tireurs, plus or moins a vingtaine of tireurs, plus five technicians qui sont certifiés et ils, ils ont travaillé au-dessus. This tower sets an example of how science and conservation of tropical forests can serve as a driver for development in the DRC. This tower can help decision makers worldwide but specifically in the DRC to better account for how much carbon is really stored in their forests on an annual basis.